What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to put together the AM radio kit, the model AM780K. Comes with your PC board. Then you got your components, all the stuff you're going to need. Then you're going to need a few tools. First, you're going to need like some long needle nose pliers, maybe some tweezers. Then you need your little side cutters. Then you're going to need uh, two small screwdrivers, flat and Phillips. Get yourself a marker. And it never really hurts to have a multimeter. And, you know, just in case. And, of course, I trust these soldering iron. Well, that's your kit. So let's get it started, y'all. All right, first you got the instruction booklet where it's going to show you everything you need. See right here where it's like D1 and then you have your diodes and you have your codes that'll show you what you need. Then this is a sample of the PC board. You'll match those numbers to what you see on this board. And then that's how you'll begin to solder. You'll find the D1 on the side, and then you'll find the D1 right there. And then you'll look in the pack that also came with your kit. It's a pack of diodes that also has your capacitors, some resistors. And you'll locate the number on the pack, match it to the number up here on the side. You want to take that number right there, the diode. Then you want to come down here where it says diodes. Then you want to match that number. Then after you get that, you want to proceed to keep doing that along with all the diagrams. You want to follow the whole pattern, the whole instruction booklet, and it'll show you exactly where everything goes. Just follow the instructions exactly, and everything should be fine. Okay, this right here, this is what it looks like after you put the diodes in and you bend the leads back. That was an example of exactly what not to do. You don't want to do more than one at a time. So you just do one, then you get a nice clean solder, and then that's what it'll look like. All right, you turn your board over. Now you see that they're in place. You'll find the next thing on your side, which will be R4. Then you'll find your PC, PC board, then you'll see, look, they go R4 right there. There's R4 on your PC board. Bend the leads back. Be careful with the solder wrench because you don't want to do any bridging. Get that down. Then you want to go ahead and follow the instructions, find out the next piece. I want to go through it real smoothly and just keep going through every piece exactly the way it says in the instruction booklet. After you get that part down, it should look something like this. Then you want to flip it on the side, bend the leads back. Then you basically want to take that whole thing, match it to the things on the side, and you want to complete your board the exact same way. Remember to try to do it one at a time. Now this is what it looked like when you're about halfway through. So now you want to get to like your bigger pieces. Like this would be like your tuning switch, how you change the station. Notice that gold piece right there that's sticking up. You want to take that piece and you want to apply it to your board so it'll be sticking out your board like just like that. Then you want to bend the leads so they'll be flat just like that. Then you want to place it against your PC board, making sure that those metal leads touch the metal part of the board. You want to solder those pieces to the lead, but first you're going to want to take your screwdriver and you want to screw those down. After that screwed down, it should look something like this. Now that it's secure, you'll flip it over and you'll proceed to solder those leads. Go ahead and grab your sticker from out of there. You want to take that sticker and put it on the dial, on the dial. but remember to keep that piece, that gray piece of paper. You're going to need that later. Affix the, the sponge adhesive to the speaker Remember, you want the speaker to go right in between these four holes right there, and then you want to apply the wires. It should look like this when you finish. Sort of both sides, the side to the speaker and the side to the board. Now you want to go ahead and do the battery. What you want to do with the battery is you want to extend the leads on the side, and then it has a screw. You want to screw that down so it's secure. After you know that it's secure, you want and you'll go ahead and screw that top nut, and then you want to come back here to where your leads are, make sure they're flush, and then you want to go ahead and solder those down. Then you can move on. Now you want to do the antennas. That's your piece of the antenna, and that's where to go on the board. So let's see what it looks like assembled. Something like this. It'll be, it'll have some wires sticking out. You'll have to follow the instruction booklet to show you exactly which color goes into which number. Try to do it one at a time when you solder. After you do a correct solder and you have the colors where they need to be, it should look something like this. After you get that, the paper that you got from your sticker, you want to fold that and you want to insert it underneath the coil. That'll help give some friction so when you 
move it around for the antenna when you try to find the station. I had to walk out to get some clear reception, but here you go. Sounds good. We did it. I suggest getting the FM radio because AM, you're really never going to use it again. It is a great project. There it is. I hope this helps somebody out. That's my final project for 1203 Entertainment Lab.